Item number SCP-914 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Only personnel who submit a formal request and receive approval from Site Command may operate 914. SCP-914 is to be kept in Research Cell 109B with two guard personnel on duty at all times. Any researchers entering 109B are to be accompanied by at least one guard for the entirety of testing. A full list of tests to be carried out must be given to all guard personnel on duty. Any deviation from the list will result in termination of testing, forcible removal of personnel from 109B, and formal discipline at site command's discretion. Warning, at this time, no testing of biological matter is allowed. Refer to document 109B-117. Applying the rough setting to explosive materials is not advised. Description SCP-914 is a large clockwork device weighing several tons and covering an area of 18 square meters, consisting of screwdrivers, belts, pulleys, gears, springs, and other clockwork. It is incredibly complex, consisting of over 8 million moving parts comprised mostly of tin and copper, with some wooden and cloth items observed. Observation and probing have shown no electronic assemblies or any form of power other than the main spring under the selection panel. Two large booths, 3 meter by 2.1 meter by 2.1 meter, are connected via copper tubes to the main body of SCP-914, labeled intake and output. Between them is a copper panel with a large knob with a small arrow attached. The words rough, coarse, one-to-one, -one, fine, and very fine are positioned at points around the knob. Below the knob is a large key that, that winds the mainspring. When an object is placed in the intake booth, a door slides shut and a small bell sounds. If the knob is turned to any position and the key wound up, SCP-914 will refine the object in the booth. No energy is lost in the process, and the object appears to be in stasis until the output booth door is open. Intense observation and testing have not shown how SCP-914 accomplishes this, and no test object has ever been observed inside SCP-914 during the refining process. The process takes between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on the size of the object being refined. Addendum May 14th Dr. Beep Test Log Input 1 kg of steel Setting rough Output Pile of steel chunks of various sizes appearing to be cut by laser Input 1 kg of steel Setting 1 to 1 Output 1 kg of steel screws Input 1 kg of steel Setting fine Output 1 kg of steel carpet tacks Input 1 kg of steel Setting very fine Output Several gases that dissipated into the air quickly and 1 gram of an unknown metal resistant to heat of 50,000 degrees impossible to bend or break with any force and a near perfect conductor of electricity Input 1 wristwatch belonging to Dr. B Setting course Output, one complete disassembled wristwatch. Input, one cell phone belonging to Beep, setting one-to-one. -one. Output, one cell phone, although different make and model. Input, one standard code Python revolver, setting very fine. Output, data expunged. Aforementioned Beep completely disintegrated all matter in its line of fire, after contained with high-density gamma waves. Input, one white mouse, setting 1 to 1. Output, one brown mouse. Input, one chimp, setting fine. Output, data expunged. Input, one chimp, setting rough. Output, badly mutated corpse, showing signs of crushing and cutting with high heat. Document, 109B117. Doctor's beep and beep test log. Input, subject, D186, male Caucasian, 
42 years old, 180 kilograms, 185 centimeters tall. Setting 1 to 1. Output, male Hispanic, 42 years old, 100 kilograms, 188 centimeters tall. Subject was very confused and agitated. Subject attacked security personnel. Subject terminated. Input. Subject D187. Male Caucasian. 28 years old. 63 kilograms. 173 centimeters tall. Setting very fine. Output. Gator expunged. Subject escaped from test chamber, killing eight guards as well as doctors beep and beep. Lockdown initiated. Subject causes containment failure of three SCP areas in continued escape attempt. Special response team engages subject, resulting in severe wounding of subject, partial memory loss and special response team members and corrosive damage to plumbing. Subject expired several hours later, dissolving into blue ash and blinding nearby research team. Biological testing with SCP-914 discontinued. Note, because of the nature of this SCP, a wide range of test data will be helpful. Dr. Gears had ordered that any researcher can have access for non-biological testing if they themselves are, or they are supervised by a level 3 researcher. All testing is to be recorded in file 914E. Biological testing will continue only with prior clearance by O5 command. As long as you want to try something mundane that isn't alive, feel free to help accumulate data. Dr. Beep.